Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my tutorial video. People in today's video, I'm gonna show you how do you create this awesome text effect, right? And we have got some awesome detailing in the text effect, that, therefore I'm showing it to you. I've got some awesome, you know, uh, detailing in the text itself. Yeah, you can see we have got some awesome um, bricks effect in the background and, you know, all sorts of things going on, guys. So I'm gonna show you how exactly did I create this right from the scratch in Adobe Photoshop, okay? No textures, no images being used, okay? everything is going to be created right here in Photoshop and guys when you go ahead and do some changes to the effect you can really come up with some awesome colors and all you can see I create this blue kind of an effect and I create this really light green kind of an effect also just to show you that we can really have some awesome variations going on okay so first you guys go ahead and create a new document control N width is 2400 height 1200 click OK and guys I'm really sorry for my speed but I really need to you know make this video somewhere under 15 minutes so first you go ahead and open the background layer unlock it all right go to the text tool in Adobe Photoshop and click somewhere in the middle make sure that the text tool color or the text color is, is is set at black okay I'm just gonna quickly write my name and guys the font that I have used in Adobe uh, in this tutorial is coalition I'm gonna try to provide this link or the uh, or you know or this font uh, in the description okay so uh, take a look over there go to this background layer that you have unlocked and click the B key on the keyboard now guys uh, in order for uh, achieving this effect we need to have some um, different brushes okay so there's gonna be a link in the description for downloading for downloading two brush sets that we are gonna use click on it uh, click on this button okay, guys which uh, you know this brush place where we go where we change the brush tools um, go to this right hand part of the panel okay right hand side part of the panel you can see a small wheel kind of an icon click on it guys and do load brushes you once you click on it guys a load dialog box will pop up you can just browse to the place where you have those brushes downloaded just click on one and load it okay and that's gonna uh, make the brush come over here in Adobe Photoshop CS6 so right now I have already done it right I've downloaded and installed those brushes in Photoshop I'm, I'm gonna select this one which says 183 and make sure guys that you are on the background layer all right the one which we have unlocked because that's a bg layer guys you know we are we going to use that thing as our background make sure that the fr uh, that the foreground color is set to black and increase the size of the brush real high somewhere over here you can see how actually you can reduce it a little bit yeah somewhere over here you can see uh, uh, i've got it done and guys the main thing in this text effect is that we need to keep our brushes somewhere in the center okay don't go to the extreme ends because I, I'm, I'm leaving the extremes end part for another effect or another brush so you know and guys we don't have to actually paint with this effect okay with this brush because that's just gonna spoil the effect we just need to use the brush pattern so all, all you need to do is you just need to click and let go click or you can just do a two times click and let go or a three times click if, if you like and right now you can see guys we have got some awesome brick effect right now in the background but you will be like TS style I cannot see my text you know when I'm doing this trust me guys just let it be how it is right now we're gonna work on the text a little bit later and in the end guys you are really gonna be stunned with what effects we are creating okay I'm gonna create a new layer now and I'm gonna uh, click the B tool once again and I'm gonna go to this place where I change my brushes and I'm, I'm gonna select this spot brush and I'm uh, the number of this brush people is 296 okay just in case if you cannot see click on it guys and I'm gonna increase my brush size a little bit okay awesome um, I'm, I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this brush just a little bit because we don't want it to come you know in front of our faces and you know taking all the attention the attention is made for the text and you can see guys I'm, I'm not really painting with this thing because we don't want that kind of an effect I'm just really, you know, creating a really nice, you know, looking kind of thing. Awesome. Uh, now, guys, try to introduce this brush into the uh, text also. So, what I'm trying to say is paint it on the text itself, okay? You can, you can reduce the size of the brush just a little bit when you're doing that. And you can see, guys, right now, if you really can see, I don't know if you can see or no, but you can see this is T and this is J. I'm trying to paint on it, you can see, just for creating some really nice effects and all and you can see I'm just gonna quickly do it okay so okay fine it looks good got some detailing done wait a sec I'm just gonna 
do it uh, just a little bit more and yeah <laughs> i definitely cannot see my chair my l man but we're gonna get to that part later guys so take a look at this is before and this is after so got some we got some spots in our background i'm gonna create a new layer now i'm gonna click the brush tool once again i'm gonna click over here and the reason guys i'm always creating a new layer is because sometimes you know what may happen is that your um, this brush is being over dominant okay and you know so we can always go ahead and reduce the opacity of the layer so therefore guys whenever you if, if you're trying to you know use some new brushes and all which you have downloaded from some other website or something and you're trying to create some your own effect always try to keep them on a new layer so you know i'm doing i'm going to do the exact same thing i'm going to create all of them on a new layer and this time guys i'm going to select the number of 432 okay i'm going to select this brush or sampled brush 4 and double click it make sure guys that the new layer is selected and this time guys we are going to paint with it okay so but don't do like this because we don't really want to paint with it okay that much we just want to create a few strokes so you know we can really you know cover up the text right now you can see how i'm trying to cover up my whole text i can really see i can just you know paint a little bit more just for it to look a little bit dusty and grundy kind of thing you know yeah now it looks good awesome looks good guys um now guys select the text layer all right and go to fx and go to blending options the reason i always keep this blending options uh in the end is guys because you know uh in the end so i can see that what all effects do i need to apply in order to uh you know really uh, really make my effect look really good so i'm going to select background numbers for sure i'm going to select the texture i'm going to select and in the pattern guys in the texture field i'm going to select the fifth one I'm going to select stroke. Definitely, I want the stroke. I want to select and I want to increase the size of the stroke just a little bit. Somewhere at five will do. Uh, the color is black. That's awesome. Uh, we 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 don't want in a shadow, but we want in a glow. So we can really look at the text, you know, when it's coming up like that. And now, guys, you can really see, you know, that spot kind of an effect on the T and on the T over here, and you know, on the S and all, and on the L and E also. So uh, change that uh, in a glow. All the way to white and click OK. Increase the size of that in a glow, and you can really see that the text is coming up now. Okay, so awesome. Choke it up a little bit if you want to. Say somewhere on 10. Okay, not a. Okay, uh, no, no, I'm just gonna change it to 10. And the size of the in a glow is set at 40. I'm gonna click set and no, actually we don't need set and we we definitely want to have the gradient overlay. And guys, in the gradient overlay we want uh, the the top part to be black and the below part to be white so uh, let the gradient overlay be the black and white thing okay just change the angle to minus 90 from 90 okay so that's gonna you can see that the that on the like on the above part of the text we have the black color and below guys we have the white looks good guys and i'm gonna click okay so those are the effects that i want to apply to my text for it to really come up like that and you know it really looks good guys but if you people are feeling like no man the text you know the spots that we have used as a brush are, are really taking over my text so you, what you can do is you can bring this text layer all the way up for really bringing out the text like this it looks good guys right now but you know what i would want is to blend my text with the background really right now guys it is just coming on top of the background it looks good guys but you know what i would do is i would like to really keep it somewhere over here so looks good right now guys I'm gonna create a new layer, alright, and I'm gonna click the B key once again. And this time, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this brush right here, 579, for creating some, you know, this brush. What do you say that paint kind of a effect? And I'm gonna just go ahead and paint with it once again. This time, I'm gonna increase the opacity all the way to 100, so I don't really have to, you know, click on it more than one time. And you can really see, guys, that you know I'm trying to come up with some really nice. And guys, try to introduce these things into your text. You can see, really see, I'm trying to work with this Y and T over here, and this L and E. It really looks good right now, guys. Okay, so shadow. And once again, guys, if you feel that you don't want this effect, you can delete the entire layer. Okay, I'm just gonna go and quickly do it once again because I think I messed up just a little bit. Erase the thing. A sec. Down a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint it right on the text. Just, just I just reduce my size of the brush just a little bit. 
and you can really see I already came up with some really nice effect guys and it really looks good going to me and yeah it looks good so uh, looking good guys now what we would like to do is create a new layer once again and this time guys um, okay it looks good firstly guys what I would like to do is bring my text layer on top of everything and then guys select that new layer which is on top of my text layer go to the brush tool um, where's a yeah this is a brush tool and select which brush this time I'm gonna work with um, I'm gonna work with uh, 737 737 is the number of the brush which I'm gonna work with double click for loading that in increase the brush size just a little bit on just a little bit to 890 <laughs> and then guys I'm, I'm gonna paint it in to the extremes of the background and you can see really see guys I'm painting on top of it it also so we can really have this you know cracks in the wall if you're really trying to create this um, you, you can see guys we have a very, very nice effect right now going on in which you know I've really created a good effect and, and you know guys the best part is that you can even use this brush right on the text for creating you know that good um, correct kind of lines on the text you can really see you know we have the the, the I'm so sorry uh, I'm gonna select my selection tool you can already see guys you can have those correct line on S on T and on the Y and it really looks good right now guys so thank you for joining me on this video tutorial okay and yeah uh, the I almost forgot guys to show you how do you make some color changes uh, once all your thing has been completed okay you are actually satisfied that yeah this thing look good um, I'm gonna use this as my thing and this thing and that thing and you want to introduce some color to this thing um, go to some adjustments and we are going to apply an adjustment layer uh, and select the color balance if you want to create a green layer or this green color like I did uh, nothing to play with the first and the third slider just take the second slider all the way to the right and you can see we already have a good green effect right now if you want to play with uh, if, if you want to good, uh, get a good sepia tone then you can, you can just uh, let the first two be at zero and take the third val uh, this parameter all the way to the left and you'll see you have a good sepia tone applied looks good guys and click zero once again if you want to have a good blue tone you can take the third slider all the way to the right and the first slider all the way to cn to have a good blue kind of an effect all right so uh, i think it looks good guys go ahead and try to experiment with this effect like i did right um hope you guys like it hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys really enjoy this effect, play with it, come up with some of your own effects and thank you for watching this video guys. If you really like this video or if you think that the text effect was good then please subscribe to me and thank you for joining me on this video. Thank you.